Hey guys, I'm proud to introduce the Pig Brigandine or Brig Plate Carrier and Brig Chest Rig product family we're calling Systema. By using minimalist designs and lightweight materials, we've managed to allow the user to configure exactly what they need for a lightweight mission without any excess bulk or weight associated with larger systems. Systema will allow you to go from a bare bones plate carrier that in its smallest configuration starts at 11 ounces or a standalone chest rig that has the ability to integrate directly with hydration to a full-blown scalable armor carrier. We'll start by discussing the Brig Plate Carrier. We introduced the pre-production Brig Plate Carrier over a year ago to gauge the response for a bare-bones sub-$100 plate carrier. The word brigandine literally means a shirt with armor on it, and it was this minimalist concept that we were trying to capture. In order to accomplish this, we made plate pockets that were specifically sized for individual plates, small through extra large ESAPI, TAP Gamma, and the Velocity ICW. This ensures not only a shoehorn fit, but no excess material or weight. We circumvented the cummerbund attachment system issues, common with most plate carriers, by sewing a four inch elastic cummerbund directly into the plate pocket, saving again a lot of bulk and weight. The cummerbunds are incrementally sized according to the size of the rear plate. We've also added grommets to the cummerbund ends so you can add paracord or similar pull tabs as you see fit. The Brig PCs have internal loop Velcro strips for the addition of AFC pontoons. These are right here. If you're wearing this over a shirt, all you need to do is get your AFC pontoons and the airflow and comfort is amazing. For those uh, users who are throwing plates over their soft armor, like many patrol officers, you don't need ventilation between your soft armor and your plate, so you don't need the pontoons. One of the biggest unique design features is the lower attachment point of the shoulder straps. Back in 2009, when we introduced the pig plate carrier, we were the first to pioneer this concept in order to position your plates properly on your upper thoracic region. We carried this over with innovative multi-piece construction that brought the shoulder strap attachment points lower on the plate. All other plate carriers have straps that are attached to the apex of the plate pocket. This subtle difference means more comfort and better plate placement over where you need it most. The Brig garnered a ton of interest from law enforcement officers and in January of 2012, we filled the contract for 60 specially configured Brigs with armor for the uh, Albuquerque Police Department. This contract served as a test bed for our all Molly rear Brig, which allows the Brig user to add hydration and pouches directly to the plate carrier. The response from the APD officers has been spectacular. It's easily the, uh, their most comfortable and lightweight armor system to date. The Brig chest rig was conceived alongside the Brig plate carrier from the beginning. Pre-production Brigs shipped with a buttonhole array, which spawned many questions from observant customers. The Brig chest rig is currently available in three configurations, with a 7.62 variant in the works. As far as minimalist chest rigs go, the Brig chest rigs offer a lot of industry firsts. In its standalone configuration, the main load bearing points between the panel and the straps uses a G-hook interface. The shoulder straps can then be used in the X configuration, or you can solve the time-tested H-harness dilemma with a pig H-harness kit. The mag pouch Brig chest rig models use the STAC Kiwi or Kydex wedge insert mag retention system under exclusive license. This retention system is quite simply the bomb, and it really has to be used to be appreciated. The Kiwis can be removed for a traditional bungee, uh, bungee retention system as well. Each Brig chest rig has an integrated utility pouch that serves a dual purpose. But we'll get back to more on that later. We've also answered the age-old dilemma on how to plug in hydration or a small pack with your chest rig without having to have multiple layers of straps everywhere. Using the Brig chest rig load bearing straps, you can now directly interface a pig hydration or grunt pack to your chest rig. And now the fun begins. Each of the Brig chest rig panels can fit onto a host Brig plate carrier 
via a Velcro interface with G-Hook backups. Unlike some other chest rig integration systems out there, the primary means for load bearing is Velcro. While standalone chest rig straps use G hooks for load bearing, these hooks only serve as a redundant failsafe to the Velcro interface when attached to the plate carrier. By choosing to utilize a flat, low profile piece of hardware like the G hook, we saved on both bulk and weight, not only in the hardware, but by not having to sew on additional nylon webbing to the plate carrier. If you understand the shear principles for how Velcro bears weight, you'll know that this system is extremely secure. And now back to that utility pouch on the chest rig. In the chest rig configuration, the pouch is secured by a Velcro flap closure. When attached to the front of the brig, you simply tuck the flap into the pouch, thereby exposing the hook Velcro so it secures across the entire top edge of the panel. We'll demonstrate here. Velcro, Velcro, Velcro. Now that you have the brig chest rig panel installed, it's basically part of the plate carrier until you remove it for standalone use. The front of the panel has loop Velcro, so you merely slap on the cummerbund directly to the surface of the chest rig. The Albuquerque Briggs I mentioned previously used three mag panels that shipped with one Kiwi, one bungee retention insert, and one empty sleeve, into which they put one M4 mag, one X26 taser, and a clip-on Motorola radio. On the all Molly Briggs chest rig panel, there is no Velcro on the front, and you can't expect all your pouches to have Velcro on the front either. So this panel is designed to be treated as a cummerbund flap, where you attach the cummerbund to the front of the brig underneath the chest rig panel close it like so. So now that you have your chest rig panel on, let's discuss the different scalable options for the platform. First we have the shoulder pads, which are made from spacer mesh, so you have excellent ventilation. Next, we have soft armor backer pouches, so you can directly attach soft armor panels to the brig. Onto this, you can now put your AFC pontoons, which you saw previously. And currently, this soft armor pouch is made for the pig plate carrier backer, which will provide ample backing coverage, especially for plates that are smaller. And finally, we have the cummerbund sleeves. We offer additional Molly real estate on the cummerbund by the addition of a sleeve. Again, this means you can add function as needed but if you're running slick and you don't want to carry the unnecessary weight and bulk, you don't have to. Currently, we have two cummerbund sleeves, one with and one without side plate carriage. And we're also in development for a side soft armor panel. So, that pretty much sums up Sistema and all her numerous configurations. We're looking forward to releasing more accessories down the line and learning how our end users are finding creative ways to utilize our kit. So, thanks very much for watching and God bless America.